Hi, this is Ian Wong. You guys can call me Philip, the team leader of Build Fans. And today we're gonna have a comparison test between the two of the heaviest hitter in the market, the Yo-Yo Recreation Drop here against our very own Yo-Yo Fans Hummingbird. Now, a lot of people are comparing the two because they have similar performance. They're all out of ring by metal. They're very extreme on the limit of your design. And um, I don't blame them. So, I mean, so now we're gonna have a comparison of exactly why some people prefer one on the other and which you actually exceed more in which area. So, the drop here um, and the hummingbird. So, the drop here is, you know, one of the GOAT, greatest of all time yo-yos. You know, absolutely ridiculous stability, power, and speed. Same with the hummingbird. And so, this is what they have different and in common. So, basically, drop here is slightly bigger. And a uh, hummingbird has more rim weight, but uh, not by too much. You might look at this and like, oh my god, hummingbird has a lot more rim weight because I mean, look at it. But it doesn't because this is actually you know slightly larger in diameter, and so it has more circumference for the SS ring to wrap around, and it's sitting on the very edge instead of you know uh, kind of from here to here. So their weight distribution is almost similar. I won't say exactly similar, but very close. They both have center weight to counteract the momentum and the sheer uh, power on the SS ring on the outside. So this is to improve speed. So you will, be, will spin fast even though you have ridiculous amount of rim weight and uh, to counteract that spin loss and to have that flow to carry and zippiness across in certain speeds. So they both have center weight to match it. So this is here, it's like a very unique button looking design, I really like it. And this is just a button, but simplicity, but it also look amazing too. So yeah, the catch zone wise, drop here is definitely has bigger catch zone. And uh, also it's, the curve is slightly more aggressive. This is a hard V. This is slight hint of organic shape going on in the middle. So yeah, I mean, let's test out uh, the yo-yo. I'll have the spec of the drop here here. Have the spec of the hummingbird right here. So speed test. I'm not gonna do like a, you know, super super uh, two videos like you know me back to back, but I'm just gonna try to go as fast as possible, you know, live right now in one take. Uh, might mess up, but you know, I'll try my best. And that was a hummingbird. <laughs> that was a drop here. So, oh god, that was so high concentration. So, Honestly, to be honest, disregard what you were watching because both of these yo-yo are fast to the point that a player like me, a mortal like me, cannot push them to its limit. You know, very few people I think can even push this yo-yo to the limit. You know, I think players that are super fast like Yori Yamaki, uh, you know, even William Theron, one of the fastest yo-yo ever like in Europe, uh, Shian Araya, those kind of people, or Peter Pong, when he's doing his speed combo can probably push through little this fast. But for me, I really can't. But doing their sudden accelerations, I can feel that Hummingbird has a little bit more acceleration and change of direction than the drop here. And also because it's slightly lighter, I actually feel that in the string, it can move slightly faster than the drop here. So I would say the Hummingbird is just slightly faster than the drop here by a bit. But the thing is, so there's a curve going on. So Hummingbird is very easy for you to push really fast. So you have the confidence, you know, like a normal player have the confidence to go really fast on the Hummingbird because the Hummingbird is suggesting you to go fast all the time. The drummer doesn't. The drummer 
requires the player's full controllability and the player's ability to go as fast as possible. The power and stability are here, like, you know, period. And it, no matter how fast you're pushing in this way, it will keep up. But it's not like suggesting you to go really fast like the hummingbird. But the funny thing is, so at some point, at a very fast pace, the drummer becomes more confident to go at that speed than the hummingbird because hummingbird might, you know, since it has some characteristic like flowiness and floatiness, unlike the hummingbird, I mean, unlike the drummer, which is almost soulless, it's just power, pure power stability. It's easier to control the dropping at that super high speed than the hummingbird, even though the hummingbird might go faster. But for me, I have absolutely a little bit more confidence to go fast uh, than the dropping. But yeah, like I said, the hummingbird is slightly faster than that. Very interesting going on here. Power on those two yo-yos, I'm not even gonna like compare them. I, I played them for literally a whole week, like every day for like 30 minutes plus. So power on these two yo-yo are around the same. Um, you know, if I have an NSK DS on the two yo yo, um, their power is around the same. Uh, I would say the drum here has just a snudge more power by like, you know, a couple percent, but it's negligible. Um, you know, drop here, like I said, has more, uh, the weight's a little bit more, but the hummingbird has more momentum. Not momentum, but just more SS rim, rim weight going on. Like the SS rings on the hummingbird is just absolutely massive and it also spins forever. So power, they're around the same. Maybe the drop here slightly edges this out, but you can't tell too much difference between the two. Stability on the yo-yo, uh, they're both absolutely ridiculously stable, but the drop here I think has definitely slightly more stability, especially in the top end. Um, yeah, that's just simply it because a more aggressive V shape, not much drama going on, like the slightly organic in the middle. So flowiness. So Dramia has some flow to it, Hummingbird not too much flow to it, but you know, comparing the flowiness of the Hummingbird, it's actually a lot more than the uh, Dramia, especially in a very high end speed. Like the way that Hummingbird's flowiness is, it suggests you to go fast. This video is more zippy than the drop near, but drop near is just gives you that confidence. It is just directly like let the player control the pace. Hummingbird is telling you to go faster, so that's the difference, and that's the difference in flow. Floatiness, both of the yo-yo don't have that much, but this have slightly more, one well, bit more because this have absolutely zero float. And this a tiny bit because of its shape and the center weight and everything. But uh, other than that, not much difference. So horizontal on the yo-yos. Horizontal on the yo-yos. Start doing them here. Oh god, okay. God, I'm really sucking right now in your horizontals, but just disregard what you're watching, I'll just tell you later because I've been testing these throughout. Horizontal on this video are absolutely amazing. It requires more effort on the drop here to tackle the horizontal. And it requires less effort for on the hummingbird because of the momentum and it just wants you to go fast. But both of the, I think hummingbird once again, in horizontal speed, ex, uh, slightly exceed on the drop here. But drop here has bigger capsule, I definitely feel that. It has more aggressive shape, less string rope than the hummingbird. So, if you put that into factor and slightly, I think, more plane control and just more control than the hummingbird in the horizontal plane, I think the drop here is better in horizontal situations than the hummingbird personally. So yeah, I mean, both of them can definitely shred it, but due to the catch zone and just more confident, the drop here, I think, excels a little bit better. 
bind on this hoo. Uh, so this kitty slim, kitty, um, maybe kitty fat, kitty normal, I would su suggest. This just binds super tight uh, and the pads are super grippy and the hummingbird, the pads are also grippy, but uh, the gap width is bigger. So uh, it's kitty normal to kitty fat, maybe kitty XL. So both of these are really good at really uh, binding and regions, just absolutely perfect. I prefer the hummingbird here because sometimes I am snagging on kitty normal on the drop here, especially when I'm using a fresh strings. And this one I have no problem whatsoever. And uh, you can use a kitty fat on this too. And you know, a lot of people like kitty fat. That's the most more popular uh, strings. So both of them really tight binds, no faults there. So now overall comparison. So let's, let's rewind on what's going on here. So power on this two yo-yo, around the same. I would say drop here slightly edges is out. Speed, uh, like I said, hummingbird is easier to go faster. It's slightly faster period. But at a super high end top speed, you're gonna have slightly more confidence in the drop here. Um, stability, both of them are amazing. I would say drop here just edges out slightly bit uh, in situations, and this will only be noticeable when you're doing super high stress yo-yo tricks, uh, like you're yo-yoing as fast as me, or like you know, or even faster. Then you can maybe feel it. Um, Okay, where was I? Floatiness, I mean, flowiness, definitely the hummingbird. The hummingbird has more characteristic and definitely suggests you to go faster. It's more zippy. It is easier to go faster. It has a more pleasant, less jarring feeling than the hummingbird and that's definitely have more characteristic to it. Uh, floatiness, same again, the hummingbird excels a little bit better than the drop here because it's, uh, you know, organic, semi-organic, not even organic, just just slight hint of it in the middle. Um, so yeah, I mean, um, finger grinds, this is not as good as Hummingbird because this is beat blast and this is not. Thumb grinds are about the same, but since these have a better finish, it's better. Uh, finger spin, they're around the same, uh, unless you land it dead in the center and then you can finger spin this for a while. Uh, they're around the same, they're all below average. Oh God, okay, disregard that. Um, so yeah, that's it. So if you want a yo-yo that is like 100% do what the player wants, it doesn't suggest you to do anything, and it just gives you absolute confidence in your trick at only high stress situations, drop there, it's the one for you. And this is why I think people think it's the best yo-yo because it has infinite power stability, like you know, for 99.9999% of the players in this world, and it's just, you know, infinity. I mean, like, you just so much top and you can never reach that. And so it will just perform and give you that confidence in high stress situations. Hummingbird is more, I would say, fun. It's just more, you know, characteristic to it. It's more flowy. It suggests you to go faster. It's super zippy. It lets a, like, medium speed player can even push faster uh, in tricks. But for super, super high speed players, um, this yo-yo definitely can keep up, but uh, you will have slightly less confidence than the uh, drop here. So, um, you know, power stability is around the same. Drop here is more controllable. That's has more characteristic. Uh, more top end, less jarring to play with. Uh, both spines awesome. Both can do anything. So you throw it. So yeah, those are the differences on the hummingbird and the drop here. So. Yeah, I mean, depends on which one you said you prefer. Both of them are really good. And, uh, you know, there's obviously a price difference, but, you know, what I, s people are like, you know, Hummingbird is a drop hair killer or Bliss is a drop hair killer. I don't think there's anything that is a drop hair killer. The most similar thing I said was a Converge. And even that, I don't think is a pure drop hair killer, even though Dio might be like, you know, cheaper, but, Dropnir just does something that, for me personally, just gives you that absolute confidence in play. It just does everything you do at, and it, it can handle it, period. And this video just do it better than anything, period. And even to this day, I don't find some video for me personally that feel that way before. Uh, yes, lots of you have more characteristic, like the hummingbird, 
and a lot of people, even more people, I think, likes the hunger more than the job here. But、uh, they're both different yayos. Like I said, depends on which one you prefer. So I don't think hummingbird is a job near killer. It's a completely different thing, and、uh, you know, people should you know stop comparing these two directly against each other, because these are the comparisons, and just appreciate. Uh, both yoyos because they're doing different things, and you know they might have similar performance, but it's completely different feel. And hummingbird is definitely not a drop near killer, and no drop near is not just purely better than a hummingbird period or hummingbird purely better than a drop near. So yeah, that is my、um, comparison between two of the very very heavy hitters. Next time I don't even have yoyos review anymore. I just do whatever, whatever comes out. Alright, thanks for watching, and、uh, shout out to Danny for giving me a B grade drop here, and also lending me his death smooth A grade drop here for better comparison against the hummingbirds. You know our hummingbirds at Yoyo friends. So, peace.